Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Derek Ong with video number 6, uh, Data Transformation for Quantitative Variables. Um, we are going to be using the same data set as we used in our categorical ver um, uh, data transformation. So please go and revisit video number 5 to find this data set. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing uh, data transformation for quantitative variables is because we want to see uh, quantitative variables or values like this to be presented in categories. So hence, for us to do that, we will have to then transform actual quantitative values into frequencies of categories. So for example, like this data set in employee data, we're going to change, transform educ, uh, education level in year, education level in years, into education level uh, category in years. So first of all, we need to set up the variable. Um, right click, insert the variable, and we're going to change this variable. Double click. And I'm going to call this EduCat. The label, of course, educational level in years. In bracket, I'm going to write categories. Now, for us to know how many categories we need and how many categories or how much range in each of the categories, it'd be best for us to, of course, find out what is the minimum and maximum. So for this variable, I know that the minimum is 8 and the maximum is 21. So what I've done is I've decided to change this value into three categories. So one, I'm going to say less than 10 years and two, I'm going to say between 10 and 20 years and 3 is more than 20 years. Now for us of course to know when uh, uh, how the minimum maximum is, we will have to then do an exploration of a descriptive statistics of the variable and that would be in another video. So for now, let's just assume that we know the minimum is 8 and the maximum is 21. And our objective is to break it down into three categories. Um, so let's press OK. Measure here. Make sure we know it's ordinal because it's incremental and there's ranking. So go back to data view and the, cat the variable is ready to be transformed. So we go to transform. Once again, you know my reasoning. Uh, in video 5, why I use recording to different variables. Make sure you press reset, if anything, so that you can wipe out the previous settings. Uh, of course, the input variable will be educational in, uh, in levels. And then the output variable needs to correspond with this variable name here called educat. And to change to ensure that you're changing to the right variable and as an output make sure this uh, duplicate variable existing name comes up press ok change the old and new values now because we are changing uh, uh, quantitative numbers it's best we use the range to help us to just lump all the values that we need so let's start with the range lowest true value as I mentioned just now, the first category was um, less than 10, so we assume that 9 would be the highest in this category, which is 1. Press Add. And then the range for the second category between 10 to 20, and that would be value 2. And finally, use the highest so that we cover everything, 21. This will be range 3. Press Add. Press Continue. Press OK. Go back to your data view. And you'll see that it has been changed. I've pressed the toggle. This 
uh, button here and if you want to check to ensure that everything has been uh, frequency you can go to transform sorry analyze descriptive statistics go to frequencies look at educational cat and just press ok and the output here you can see that sorry wrong go to analyze frequency educational level sorry and you can see that this is the frequency that we want okay thank you for watching please watch my next video